Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to go over some editing basics. And in order to do that, we're going to need to do some recording. And the reason that we need to start with the recording session is that one of the best practices for recording and editing video is for you to record your video in one session, even if you make mistakes, and to note when you make those mistakes, and then to make them visible on your timeline. And we've noted a couple of ways to do that. One of the ways in which you can do that, of course, is to use the markers. And we've seen that. In fact, we will turn on the recording so that we can see this again. I'm going to bring the recording toolbar into the screen. Now, remember, one of the ways that which we can note and we can give ourselves a visual cue that a mistake was made, and we need to go back to the timeline and edit, can be if we use the add marker. So every place where we add a marker, we'll know that we need to look on our timeline to figure out what it is that we need to do to edit out our mistakes. Now, one of the other ways that presenters often do this in Camtasia is that they will clap three times very loudly so that the claps will appear on the timeline. And the claps will go something like this. And what will happen is you'll see these claps on the timeline. That'll be your cue to go back and then to edit your recording. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to record some video and we're going to go over a few mistakes. We're going to clap three times as well as to add markers so that we'll know where we are doing our mistakes. Now the actual recording process, we're going to do this off camera, but we are going to have our recording to appear on the timeline when we come back. So we're going to stop our recording now. And then we're going to continue the recording that you're seeing on your screen. And then we will come back once this video is up and ready to be edited on the timeline. Okay, welcome back. You're going to see now that the video is now on the editing timeline. And the best practice for editing video is to edit in real time. Now, this can be time consuming and it can be more time consuming than if you were to skip ahead and look only for your mistakes. However, what you're going to want to think about is that you want to make sure that if possible, you eliminate even sometimes if there's not a technical grammatical mistake or something that you stumbled over, you're going to hear certain things that just don't sound right. And the only way for you to correct them is for you to watch the video over and hear it. If you adhere to the five minute rule, which is if you're trying to keep all your videos right around five minutes, then this should not be a hardship to you. One of the things you're going to notice right off the bat is that the audio looks to be low. So we're going to go ahead and put our cursor in that timeline. And then we're going to come up here to the right hand side and we're going to raise the audio, right? And you can see the audio jumping there. The one other good practice uh, to use would be to try to do some noise elimination right at the start. And we can do that in the audio effects area. I want to do some noise removal. And we can do that by dragging this into the timeline. Right now we can decide on how sensitive we want it to be, but in general, this should remove additional background noise and Camtasia actually does the analysis. So we're going to do the analysis. Camtasia then generates the audio profile and then does the removal. Okay, so now we have our audio pretty much where we want. What we're going to do is, let's say that what we wanted to do was we wanted to go where these markers were. And we're going to say that this is where we made mistakes. Well, what we do is we bring our cursor to that point. We take the right handle, pull it all the way over to that point, and then cut it out. And what happens is Camtasia will collapse the timeline to the point where the cursor is. So in other words, you won't have a gap 
where the cursor is and where you make the cut. Camtasia will bring that timeline back against your cursor. So what we also did is we also know that where we have three claps, we are going to have a mistake. Now again, it's going to be a good idea to listen to what the mistake actually is. And once you've decided exactly where you want it, you are then going to want to pull the cursor together and then cut out that mistake. Now, what we want to do is we want to see where the rest of the mistakes are. And so what we're going to do is we're going to shrink our view of the timeline so that we can see better, we can see more of it. And we can see that there is a mistake here. Now, there are a couple of things about making edits to audio and video at the same time. What we can do is we can actually spread out the audio and that makes these lines more, the peaks more visible and we have to put our cursor in between a peak sometimes those peaks will not be visible if they come from a shrunken timeline so sometimes we can expand the timeline so that we can see the gap and we can see the one right there where we would put our cursor and then cover over our mistake now once again we can listen to what's really happening on the video by clicking the start button. As soon as we start to play the video, we'll be able to hear exactly what the mistake is and exactly what we need to do in order to fix it and cut it off. So once again, what we can do is we can zoom back out. Now, Anything that we're going to be adding to the timeline, we can do that using annotations. We can do that with animations or cursor effects. Now one interesting thing as we are talking about cursor effects, if you are doing a screencast video, cursor effects will allow you to again highlight your cursor and highlight the sounds of the mouse clicks. And this can be a very useful way of keeping your viewers engaged. So in this particular case, let's say that what we wanted to do was we wanted to highlight the cursor every place that it went. Well, we could do that if we brought our cursor back, then we right click. Actually, what we're going to do is just drag that into the media. And now what you'll see here is that you have a highlight every place where your cursor is going to appear in the actual screen. Okay, now um, the other thing that we're going to want to take note of during the editing process is sometimes we might cover sensitive information and we talked about this. And when that is the case, we want to bring our cursor to where that sensitive information is. And then what we want to do is we want to then add in an annotation. And we want that annotation to be a blur. Right, and let's say we'll find the blur. We will drag it onto the canvas, and then we'll blur it out. Then we'll decide how long that blur goes. Right, if we know that it, it needs to appear this long, then we'll just stretch it out here. Okay, to make things more convenient, we're gonna get rid of our markers now. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to make sure that your video appears exactly the way you want and that it sounds exactly the way you want. And you're going to be using the effects last. The most important thing is that the audio does what you want it to do and that the video does what you want it to do. Now remember one other aspect is that we can have, when we record our camera, it'll be off to the right here, but we can move it any place onto our screen that we want it to appear. Okay, so those are our editing basics. Remember to try to edit in real time. Remember to try to set your mistakes in your recording at the very beginning. And then remember to try to do all of your editing in one sitting. That will help you to be able to do an effective editing job, as well as being able to add in all of the extras that Camtasia will allow you to do, which we have talked about in previous videos.
Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.